There are two main types of fraudulent players in gaming, hackers and smurfs. When it comes to Rocket League, fortunately, Psyonix managed to shut down the hacker issue pretty quickly. However, one category of fraudulent players still remains untouched. Everyone knows smurfs are pretty common, but just how common? It's nearly impossible to say. What percentage of your games actually contain a smurf? Fortunately, after some research, I stumbled across a study that answered that exact question with some real numbers. And what that answer turned out to be? Shockingly, and pretty concerning, it's a lot more than you might expect. I'm sure most of you already know what a smurf is, but just to set the record straight, a smurf is a player who creates an alternate account to match up against lower ranked players. Most often this occurs when someone has a friend that's significantly worse than them, but they still wanna play ranked together without being completely destroyed every single game. So the higher rated player hops on a smurf account and they queue into ranked, matching up against lower skilled players instead. While the game detects this matchup as being totally fair, the players find out pretty quickly just how unbalanced it is. This is obviously a very broad concept that applies to basically any game with competitive matchmaking, which is exactly why smurfing isn't a new issue at all. In fact, the term smurf dates all the way back to 1996, believe it or not. But even after decades of time for developers to learn how to stop smurfs from taking over, they still run rampant in nearly every online competitive game you can think of. Have developers even made any progress in that time to stop this from happening? Well, actually, yes. I'll explain how this connects to Rocket League in a second, but other developers have actually taken some pretty big measures to prevent smurfs from being too common. Valorant requires a player to reach XP level 20 through unranked matches before unlocking competitive, which takes around 60 hours of playtime. League of Legends requires players to reach level 30, which takes around 100 hours of playtime. That's pretty crazy. Overwatch 2 on launch required all players to have a phone number for their account before playing the game entirely, but they later partially reverted that after a large amount of backlash. And lastly, Rocket League requires nothing. Wait, no, that can't be right. Actually, yeah, it's nothing. This is the part of the video that might piss you off because believe it or not, Rocket League's smurf protection actually encourages smurfs while suppressing genuine new players. Let me explain. Technically speaking, Rocket League requires players to reach XP level 10 before being able to key ranked. Now you might be thinking, oh, well, waitin', that's not nothing. I know XP level 10 only takes like three hours to reach, but at least there's something in place to prevent smurfs. And my response to that is, take a closer look at that initial statement. Rocket League requires players to reach XP level 10 before being able to queue ranked. If that's worded properly, wouldn't that mean you could just set the party leader to someone who already is level 10 and they'd be able to queue ranked for you? A friend of mine tested this out and the answer turns out to be, yes, you can totally do that. With this half-enforced level 10 rule in place, all it actually does is gatekeep the real genuine new players from being able to queue ranked, while Smurfs get to queue freely as soon as they install the game. Since they likely made the account specifically to queue with someone else who's already been playing, there's not a single thing in their way preventing them from having a fresh Smurf account in minutes. No price tag on the game, no XP requirement, no two-factor or anything. I always try to see both sides of the story when I find a weird feature like this in game, but I'm telling you, I've tried wrapping my head around this for hours, and the only explanation I can think of for this is that Psyonix just messed up. I can't think of a single reason why they would want to gatekeep real new players while letting smurfs filter straight through into ranked. It's honestly embarrassing how easy it is to smurf in Rocket League. But does that actually make a difference for how frequent they are in game? Well, before getting to the real facts, I asked you all to estimate how often you run into smurfs when you play. I'll say right now, most of you guys are not even close. The answers definitely had a wide variety with some people claiming to face a smurf once every five games or so, and others not seeing one for 50 plus games. But the average answer seemed to revolve around one smurf every 15 games or so, or around 7% of your matches. As I already said, that isn't even close to reality, and there's a very solid reason for that. The signs people look out for when determining if someone is a smurf are, for the most part, pretty straightforward. I'm talking default items, no profile picture, having a 2 at the end of their name. But the biggest factor to look out for is how they actually play. 
Like, if they look significantly better than their teammate, that definitely raises some pretty big suspicion. However, it's been proven time and time again through hundreds of rank guess videos that it's extremely hard to tell the difference between a champ player just popping off and an actual grand champion just doing what they normally do. To test this out, I showed some champ players four different clips. Three of them were a normal champ player just hitting a nice shot, while one of them was a smurf who's a solidified grand champion. You can replay this section of the video if you want to take a guess for yourself. I'm going with Clipsy. So I definitely think it's Clipsy. I'm going to say A is the GC. I think it's Clip A. The answer is Clipsy. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Obviously, this isn't a completely fair challenge, but that's exactly the point. This is the sort of thing that you're expected to diagnose in a real game. You can check all the boxes that point towards someone being a smurf, but even if you do, there's no way to be 100% sure. Chances are, you're right, the dude in your platinum game that just scored a nasty flip reset with all default items probably is a smurf. But the fact you can't completely confirm it poses a huge issue when it comes to taking action and banning these accounts. One thing that makes this matter so much more complicated is the hypocrisy of it. When I asked in the survey what your stance is on smurfing, the answer is definitely skewed towards banning them, or at least doing something about them. But at the same time, nearly half of you said that you have a smurf account. Admittedly, I'm one of those people. Just over a year ago, I made a fresh account to see what rank I could get using a piano as my controller. It's definitely a big handicap, being that my mechanics were non-existent. In fact, I even lost some of my placements. But you can see how complex this issue immediately gets. There's all sorts of different kinds of smurfs. Some people consider that type of smurfing okay, while others say alternate accounts in general are unacceptable. The truth about how each type of smurf actually affects the rank system is hard to find on your own. Which brings me to the facts. While not everyone has the same definition for what constitutes a smurf, this analysis I found on Reddit takes a pretty neutral stance. It was specific to the Diamond 3 to Champion 1 ranks in 2v2, and someone who had less than 191 hours at that level was considered suspicious. Which I think is pretty reasonable, considering my video a few months ago found that the average hours for that level was more than a thousand. While 191 may include a few prodigies accidentally, it also may miss a few more established smurf accounts, so I'd expect it to balance out pretty well. Assuming these parameters are accurate, it was found that nearly a third of matches at this rank contain a smurf. Absolutely insane. And even if you drop the smurf parameter all the way down to just 75 hours, now you're talking pretty much all confirmed smurfs, it was still found that about 16% of matches would have a smurf. That's almost one in every six games. So with such a clear overpopulation of smurf accounts in Rocket League, how is it that Psyonix still has nothing in place to prevent them? Well, to answer that, I didn't have to look too far, because the frequency of smurfs wasn't the only conclusion found from this study. What shocked me even more than how many smurfs are in the game is how impactful they turned out to be. While it's hard to deny that they're everywhere after this study, the impact they have on their matches isn't as strong as you'd think. Combining all the smurf accounts together, their win rate at this level was only about 51%, just barely above 50 which would be perfectly ideal. Even the freshest of Smurf accounts with less than 38 hours only had a win rate of 53%. They're still losing nearly half the time. While these accounts are super common, somehow they don't seem to be making a noticeable overall impact. 11% of you in my survey said that Smurfs hold you back from ranking up. But according to these numbers, that doesn't even seem remotely true. What is abundantly true though, is that almost no one likes playing against Smurfs. 85% of you said that you dislike Smurfs simply for the fact that they make your games unfair. Which, regardless of their impact, is true by definition. There's no denying that this match right here is completely unbalanced. So there may not be a perfect solution to this problem after all. It seems like smurfing is here to stay, whether we like it or not. But at least we can sit a little more comfortably knowing that the effects they have aren't as drastic as we once thought. But Psyonix, can you please still fix the level 10 XP thing? Like, I feel like that's just such a simple fix. Like, maybe you could make it so, like, now no one has to reach level 10, or maybe, like, now everyone in the party has to be a level 10 in order to keep ranked, or something like that. Or maybe...